One of the hardest things for me to color has always been clothing and fabric, which I'm sure many artists can relate to. There are so many wrinkles and textures that it makes you wonder which type of brushes to use and where to apply shading or highlights. This tutorial may apply to any type of clothing, but I will focus mainly on shiny fabrics such as leather. First, we need to separate the areas that will have shadows from those that will have light. We'll start with the shadows, as it helps to visibly identify the creases and wrinkles of the clothing a lot better. I will start creating bold shading with a darker color from the base color, using my normal line art brush, which is basically a thin bold stroke. As you can see from the hair, the light is coming from the left side of the canvas, so we're going to add our shadows on the opposite side. If you notice, I have already added some creases on the liner, so it will work as a guide on where to add our shading. With leather fabric specifically, which I am trying to make here for Robin's egghead outfit, the reflection of the light can be spotted anywhere on the jacket, which is why I'm creating this sharp pattern of shading even on the smoothest parts of it. You will notice this pattern in a leather jacket in real life. This is because the fabric is so thick that it is hard to have a smooth surface where the shading and the light mix together. Now, it looks like a very stark contrast between the base color and the shade, so we need to make sure the shading is merged naturally with the base color. I am using the round brush on the painting tab in Procreate. This brush is basically a perfect circle, no sharp tip, and has changes in opacity depending on the pencil's pressure against the screen. This will create the perfect transition between the base color and the shadow before we soften everything together. I will still use a darker shade, but my pressure on the pencil will be light to get a good middle tone. Since you can't be exact with your pressure, this will create multiple mini shades of the same color, creating depth within the shadows. Make sure to leave some of the original bold shading untouched to create randomness in the shading. Otherwise, our original bold shading will merge into the base color and you'll be back to having one big mush of one color, eliminating our first efforts to make the creases more prominent. Once you're satisfied with the number of middle tones, grab a soft brush from your airbrushing tab. We are going to soften the edges with our Gaussian Blur tool. Make sure to select the pencil option as opposed to the layer option. This will allow us to target blur instead of blurring the whole coloring. It's hard to see where I'm putting my pencil on, as the halo of the brush is close to the jacket's color. But you can see how we are merging the edges of the dark shading into the rest of the jacket. Now we have a smooth shading, but you can still visibly tell where the creases of the jacket are folding against the body. So we are going to make the contrast even more visible now. Using the original base color as a reference, we will create a lighter tone and go back to using our round brush. Now, create highlight lines on the edges where the light is reflected on the left side of the image and between the shaded creases. The key here is to make multiple thin highlights. This will achieve that leathery effect since it shows that the fabric is hunched up with the body's movements instead of flat and smooth. Now that you have applied the thin highlights all over the jacket, we can size up the brush and create smoother highlights to connect everything together. And now, back to our Gaussian Blur technique. We will smoothen out the edges to blend them into the jacket. Since leather jackets are very shiny, we can add different types of colors to show that it is surrounded by different types of lighting. So we can add some blue to show that there is some ambient light from the sky being reflected, but it must be very subtle. With our soft brush, we can gently glaze some dark blue on top. To contrast, we can add a bounce light with a warmer color, like orange. Add some of that color next to the blue, creating a gradient of these different lights being reflected on the jacket. Now, it seems that we've clustered a lot of soft colors on the jacket. We can always go back to our darkest shade and enhance the bold creases with it, making it more refined and apparent. As a final touch, we can move on to the layer with the blending mode add, where I have already added other highlights on the skin and the hair. Using the round brush with opacity variations, we can add very thin speckles on the part of the jacket that sticks out the most, as well as the edges close to the line art. Now it definitely looks like a shiny leather jacket. I use this technique for the gloves and the bottoms to complete the look. And this is how the final artwork turned out to be. I really hope you found this tutorial helpful. It can definitely be a tricky thing coloring different textures. But the fun part with digital art is that you can mess around and practice endlessly until you achieve your desired result. Thank you so much for watching.